West Florida Beaches International is getting a little more than $6 million from the CARES Act. It's part of the $900 million in federal stimulus money going to airports across Florida. As News 13's Madeline Bierster tells us, local airports already have plans for that cash. The federal government included airports in the CARES Act because of the massive decrease in air travel. We, like every other airport in the country, are at 95% down. So, um, you know, we're seeing anywhere from 100 to 150 people a day go through the airport or come in, go out. So it's almost 300 people a day if we're lucky. So Beaches International Airport will be receiving $6.3 million from the CARES Act. Airport Director Parker McClellan says the money could go to a variety of items. It can go to projects, it can go to the additional costs associated to COVID-19, it can go to paying salaries, it can do a lot of different things. So we want to look at those before we just jump right in and make sure that we're spending the money and, and using the money to the most advantageous part of the airport. But so far, nothing is set in stone. We're in the process of reviewing that and we'll be making a presentation to our board on over the next several weeks of how to best utilize those funds. Mariana Municipal Airport is receiving $30,000. Airport officials want to use it to resurface the main entrance. It's uh, going to entail some uh, base work and also some re uh, a lot of resurfacing. Uh, the road is uh, probably over 40, 50 years old, has not been resurfaced in that long. Airports in Destin, Fort Walton Beach Airport, Crestview, Defuniac Springs, Apalachicola, Bonifay, and Bluntstown are all getting grants, ranging from $12 million down to 20000 The Federal Aviation Administration says they hope to have the money in their hands within the next few weeks. In Panama City Beach, Madeline Bierster, News 13, Panhandle Strong.